Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And today I actually have some real news to talk about, uh, real little things that came out. Um, not Probably nothing major though, but I would say the fact that two of these things came directly from Tom Hardy and one of them came from Scott Hayes, even though it's not really much and I don't really even know if it's Venom related, uh, but there's like a little spider thing in the video. So I figured I'd share it. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, to me, I'd rather talk about stuff like this uh, than the, the Tom Holland stuff. Like I, I'll wait for something like that i'll wait for it to be confirmed but even then I, I hope it's not true and if you want to go see what my thoughts are on the tom holland thing i put that in another video so that is the episode before this for this episode though i want to reference actually a facebook page that i've come to really like uh this guy i think he started following me a while ago um after i created the venom vlog page on facebook and he was one of my first followers on here and uh and he his, his channel is called Eddie Brock. I'll put the link to it down below. Um, but he is a uh, post a, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of artwork. Um, he sometimes I'll get information from him, um, but uh, usually it's like right after I got it from someone else. So I've been wanting to credit him. T typically, I like to credit the people who give me the information first or where I come across it first. This I definitely came across first on Eddie Brock's channel on Facebook. So. Uh, here he has Tom Hardy, this artwork. Tom Hardy posted two things um, on fa uh, Instagram, actually. Um, one, it was a little while ago, and the other one was today, and then they were deleted right after. And both of them happened to be like street art, um, or possibly concept art, but I think street art. I think there's a wall behind one of these images, I can tell. And the other one's made of, I think, looks like chalk. So I think it's just street art, maybe something that was in, you know, either Atlanta or, you know, if they're in San Francisco uh, or maybe when they were in Brazil, because I know at Brazilian Comic-Con or Brazil Comic-Con, the Comic-Con experience they did there, there was like people doing street art of Deadpool and stuff. Uh, and so I remember seeing that. And then also uh, Eddie Brock said that also in his comment when we were talking back and forth, he was like, yeah, I guess it could be street art from Brazil. Uh, so these could be images that were taken from there or taken on the streets of Atlanta. Maybe some fan was like, hey, they're filming Venom down the street. I'm going to do some sick artwork on the walls. And I've, I've been in the Atlanta area. I lived there for a while. Um, it's There's a lot of great art there. Great music, great food, great art. Trust me, it's a great place. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if that were the case. So we have this first image uh, that I'll put right here. Boom. Um, or maybe it's on this side. I, I always get that wrong now uh, because of the way my camera is set up. But it's up right there. Uh, that's the chalk one, I think. And this one was uh, first teased like a month or, or maybe a few months ago. And uh, and Tom Hardy posted it. It's Venom with Carnage over him. And then uh, the image was taken down. And I, I, I'm sure if the fact that these were taken down so quickly is probably because Sony is like, hey, that sends a, a false narrative. It makes people expect Carnage. And from what we heard on, you know, from Atlanta filming and, and Marvelous Realm on Twitter, that uh, from their experience of, you know, for, you know, photographing the movie and the sets and everything, uh, they weren't on the closed sets, but they were on the, the sets that were out in the streets uh, of Atlanta. Um, they were saying that uh, that Carnage, as far as they knew, was only a cameo. He was not like the main guy, but that's what they were told. And they could have been told misinformation because maybe, you know, obviously Sony or the people on set didn't want that information to get out. So, um, so. You know, it, there's a chance that Carnage may not even be in this movie. We don't know. Uh, so we'll get, you know, we'll we'll get to the Carnage stuff soon on this channel. I know I got a big plan for Carnage stuff. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for me to talk about Carnage. Uh, we will get to that stuff soon. Um, but for now, we'll show these images. Uh, so Tom Hardy then posted this one today, and this one is uh, really cool. It has Tom Hardy himself drawn with his suit, like his shirt, literally becoming Venom. And he's been rocking like a hoodie that we've seen before that has like that kind of image on it. So someone drew that, put it on there, and if you look really closely, it kind of looks like the background of this might actually be a wall uh, because there's like this hard line uh, where spray paint would stop because you put like a border there to like get in there. Um, so this could actually be street art uh, for sure. Uh, the other one's chalk, so uh, that could be on the drawn on the ground, drawn on the wall, whatever. This one though could be spray painted or in other paint styles mixed in with it, uh, you know, mix, like mixed media kind of. Uh, but it's beautiful. It's whoever's making this art is, is just amazing. The, the talent is amazing. And I wouldn't mind seeing like something like street art used in the promo. Um, you know, Deadpool had really creative uh, marketing and promotional stuff. Venom is very much a character that is, he's a nine to five guy. He, he works a grind, you know, he goes to work. He, he's a journalist. He tries to get to the truth. He's, he's always on the street, keeping his ear down, listening for information. He's the perfect, one of the perfect characters to have street art used um, to promote their story, to promote their movie. 
So I hope someone at Sony gets on this bandwagon and reaches out to these artists and says, hey, we'll pay you like a couple hundred bucks. Would you do a mural uh, or do other street art that we can photograph or scan or whatever so that we, we can use these for like promotional materials for the movie, alternate movie posters, things like that. And then we'll, you know, you know, reference you guys, you know, like give you guys, um, you know, spotlight, do like an artist spotlight on the, the art of Venom for, you know, whatever for the movie. You could do a lot of things like that to promote these people's talent and promote art in general. Um, you know, and obviously Venom is rooted in art with comic book art. So it'd be cool to see that blend of, of styles and, and like using this to help tell the story and help paint the picture of what you want people to think of when they go see the movie. Um, Cause I would love to see just rows of these posters of this kind of artwork of chalk art, spray paint art. Like that would be great for marketing, I think. And like I said, then you can make a little documentary on these artists and use that to promote the movie as well. Um, so that would be sick. So uh, yeah, these are just one I wanted to show here. Um, and again, they were deleted. This one was deleted really quickly. And again, I think it's just because maybe whether Carnage is in this movie or not, Sony may not be ready for that information. And Tom may just be posting him to go like, hey, this is just cool art, I wanna share it. And they're like, yeah, but it has Carnage in it and we don't want people you know, thinking like that, uh, which is also why I'm like, uh, if they take that down, why aren't they taking the Collider video down if they're talking about Tom Har ha you know, Holland like that? Uh, just, it's like, yeah, they wanna control the information because this movie, they're clearly, like I said, they're, it's tight, it's closed sets, it's, close to the vest they're really trying to not you know really go all over the place with this movie they're trying to keep it a mystery they're trying to keep it a secret because that's what the appeal of it is a lot of people are curious about it and uh and i think it's it's uh just you know it would be cool if they can you know they're, they're going to this level to you know to restrain their own star of their movie from revealing too much they should uh start plugging in the people who are leaking information to sites like collider too um so yeah i know if you want i get pretty salty in my i definitely spat some venom in my last video so go check that out if you want uh the last thing i have here is actually not it's not super exciting so i'll just pop it up real quick it's this little video uh scott hayes posted it on his instagram i saw it in his you know stories list um and i just happened to catch it right before it went away because i think my stories only last i have like a windows phone so i don't get like a lot of like cool proportions of the apps you know i get like the beta versions of all the apps so the story mode i didn't really get to see um uh you know i i'll lose it after 24 hours so luckily i caught it right before it went away and it's just like this little video of, of I think Scott Hayes in the back of a car, probably being chauffeured, possibly to the set of Venom. And the only reason I say that is because there's that little spider in the uh, hanging from the rearview mirror. And uh, so that could be, you know, him on the way to set, just him making a quick little fun video. Um, you know, maybe something for people to keep their eye out for. You know, I don't, I don't want anyone to harass or, or bother anyone who's working on this movie. But hey, if you see a car go by and they have a spider hanging from the rearview. And it's a big black SUV. Maybe it's, uh, you know, maybe it's from the Venom movie, especially if you're in Atlanta or San Francisco. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was something that I was like, ooh, uh, you know me. This week I've been really grasping at straws to find stories to cover. And uh, and so it's like when I saw this, I was like, I'm going to make a whole video on that. And then when I saw this artwork, I'm like, I'm going to put that at the end of my video. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, I don't know. But you guys let me know. What do you think of the art? Would you like to see more street art? Would you like that to be a kind of, uh, you know, marketing attempt for this movie? To get you know inf you know to get visuals out there because obviously they're trying to like really control what set photos get out there what video clips get out there all that stuff they're really trying to control that so this would be a cool way to appease fans with cool street art drawings of trees drawings of drake drawings of Anne weighing you know get just a really great mural going uh, and then have each artist do one character and then just make this big wall like in downtown Atlanta or somewhere in San Francisco where they have it, they photograph it, film a documentary for the day, pay all the artists to come down and work for like a whole day on it. I just think that would be amazing. And I would, oh, I would love that so much. As someone who's a fan of street art and a fan of like, you know, the music in Atlanta, have some coming out there, like some underground hip hop artist or rock group from Atlanta. My personal favorite, my band Seven Dust, that would be cool to have them show up and like create a song for the soundtrack and then have like art you know being drawn everywhere and stuff i mean oh please make my dream come true uh sony uh but anyway that's th enough about me what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll have more information for you soon see you in the future peace